Kia ora, I'm Brianna reporting from Kia Kids News. Hi, we're in Hokitika and we're learning how to carve ponanu. As well as carving, we're learning the importance of gifting and whakapapa. Hi Steve, this is the first day of our course. Could you please explain to us what's happening? Yes. So the first thing is, I'd like you to give two reasons why because you're going to carve a piece to someone who is special. You value someone who takes care of you. You're gonna call her a gift that this piece that you're gonna carve and give it to them. I'm carving my ponamu for my friend Isla because she's caring and she helps me off heaps of my stuff. Who are you carving your ponamu for and why? I'm carving my ponamu for my mum because she's, um, even though she's struggling, she's helping me out with a lot of stuff. I'm making it for my mum because she helps me with lots of my homework. Who are you carving your ponamu for and why? I'm carving my ponamu for my father because he's really nice to me and he cares for me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to trim that. What makes Ponamu so special? Well, Ponamu is so special, particularly around this area here on the West Coast, especially from the Arhura River, where the source has come from. It's special because it's something that the local people here, the local iwi, treasure. It means that it's a taonga. It's passed down from generation to generation. So that's why I think it's important that all the kids that grow on the West Coast should have a ponamu. Now that is quite rough. So we're going to smooth it with this first. Can you tell us a bit about Ponamu and the people on the coast? Ponamu wasn't always, um, well it's always been a gift, but it used to be fought over, like there's big wars on the west coast over Ponamu, because we used to be used as weapons to take people's lives. But now it's a stone of peace. Do you know anything about Potany and how we came to have Ponamu here? You know what Tanifaras? Potany was a Tanifa, and he used to swim around in the waters up in the Bay of Plenty. One day, he came across a beautiful Māori woman, Waitaiki, bathing on the shores, and decided to capture her and make her his wife. Before long, Waitaiki's husband, Tamahua, realised she was missing and went looking for her. When Potini sensed that Tamahua was getting close, he thought, if I can't have this beautiful woman, no one can. He set a karakia and turned her into stone. Tamahua discovered Waitaiki, sitting in the riverbed, transformed into a Ponamu statue. He <laughs> cried and cried over her, and as his tears hit the smooth green stone, they shattered her into a million pieces. And that's how we came to have all of our beautiful bits of Ponamu that we've got today. Ponamu, what a treasure. This has been Brianna reporting from Kia Kids News. <laughs>